EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present third round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Well, this is one of my favorite tournaments of the year. It's the EA Sports Spring Invitational and just a stunning golf course. It's Wolf Creek in Mesquite, Nevada. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. And Frank, we're in for quite a day. We are. We're going to see uh, the decision-making uh, processes of some of the fine players out there today. And the reason why I say that, Rich, is because there's so much elevation here at Wolf Creek. So you're going to have to make those adjustments on the downhill and the uphill. Club selection decisions. And of course, the one that does that the best is more than likely the one that's going to come out on top. Here at the fourth, 383 yards from the back tee, it's a dog leg right, but Frank, looking at all of those bunkers, you could really make a mess of this hole if you stray. You can, that's why you've got to simplify it. Just something there that's going to find the fairway, even like three wood and a wedge, that's really all this hole's going to require. Avoid the canyons on the left and uh, in the desert, as well as just, I don't know how many bunkers there is on the right side. So a little bit of fairway up the left, find that there, and, and really, you, uh, you should be looking at a birdie putt. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Should be safely on deck. I mean, really, on top of his game right now, that was a splendid approach shot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. A lip out's fine as long as it doesn't happen to you. So just a formality here. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. We're in the desert, partner. I need water. You're going to get it here, Rich. Par five second. I've got a nice stream that runs down the left side, as well as cutting the fairway. There's a crop of uh, some three bunkers down that right side. I want to avoid that, but you know, Rich, this hole isn't too long. Under 500 yards, not even going to play that long. So very reachable. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Well, it's that sneaky distance. Oh boy, way short. Have to hit it. Shouldn't be a problem here. Frank, that is painful. I mean, all you gotta do, just hit it, just hit it. Simple, solid, and he'll take it but one that you need to make. Frank, standing on the 6th tee and looking out at this golf course, I can't help but think that if you hit it offline here, you're, you're going to be playing golf with the billy goats. Uh, yeah, you might actually turn into a billy goat come the end of the day, that's for sure. The huge elevation changes once again are apparent here at the 6th. Uh, it is a dog leg to the right, um, not really a driver, unless you want to sort of uh, bring that creek into play or that little stream that cuts across. Second shot, a little bit uphill. Um, those bunkers are really where you shouldn't go. You all know that. And this green is anything other than flat. Uh, a fun-looking hole, too, and a fun hole to play. 
little uphill to this green, Frank. Seems to like it. I'm headed for the fat part of the green. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, the incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. We haven't seen a whole lot of that, Frank, but that has to feel good. Well, everybody loves the short par four, and here we have one, Frank, just 302 yards, the seventh hole. And this hole is anything other than straightforward, Rich. Uh, huge drop off at the front of this green that is surrounded by water. So it's going to be a layup off the tee, really, to try and get the right yardage. This green is very, very, uh, it's not very deep, but it's extremely wide. The hardest thing is to try and get a flat lie with uh, whatever club you decide to hit off the tee and get the right yardage. Otherwise, that green actually might be a little elusive, even though this is a very short hole. Now the approach shot to the seventh, and Frank, this one will get the player's attention. It will. It'll be just a short iron in here, but a lot's going to depend on whether your lie is uphill, downhill, or if you manage to get it in the flat, then the shot becomes much easier. As you can see, the green's not very deep. So once again, be so precise with your yardage, because if you do, you'll be well rewarded here at seven. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Ooh, chance for birdie, birdie. Frank, the good players continue to play good golf, even if they're not winning or in the top five. Yeah, that position's starting to look a little brighter than what it was at the beginning of the day. Now in the top 25. Par 3 8, 248 yards down to the green. What a hole. Yeah, maybe you put your two hands together, make a little prayer, you might make two. But uh, make three here and run to the next tee. This is uh, it's just a gorgeous par 3. Uh, but it is, it is tough. Um, every bit as uh, tough as it, what it is pretty, as a matter of fact. Frank, this actually isn't the most difficult shot, is it, for a high-level player? You've got a clean lie. It's firm underneath. Uh, the, the biggest thing, though, really, you don't want to hit the path first. Clean strike, though. This is almost like hitting off the fairway. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. So a tester from four feet. Well, not in contention, but in for par. So through three rounds just outside the top 10, what kind of a chance do you give a player who is a sitting outside the first 10? Yeah, it's slim. I, I certainly would not. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present final round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Frank, it's just amazing what can be done today, where you can build golf courses on the moon I mean, that, that's what this looks like here at Wolf Creek in Mesquite, Nevada. And obviously it's an experience too that uh, has to be played before you can thoroughly enjoy it. Because um, you just wouldn't think this is possible. If someone said you can come out to the middle of the desert and you're going to play a phenomenal golf course, you'd say it's not possible. But uh, as these holes intertwine around in the canyon area, um, just wonderful vistas, uh, huge changes in elevations. Really, it's just a, a fun adventure. 
Beginning the back nine here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner Frank Navalo. Frank, tell us about the 10th hole. Got to be careful here, Rich. That desert ridge on that right side, it sort of makes that fairway look smaller than exactly what it is. This fairway is about the same width as all the others, so just convince yourself that. Good drive down here is going to give you a second shot, a little bit uphill into a green that sort of slopes away on a, about a 45 degree angle. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Get down, look out. It's over wow. the green. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. I mean, this skill and that, that was sublime. Just good hands coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance, and now in great position. Starting the back nine on a sour note here with a drop shot, bogey at the 10th. Settles in over the putt. Frank, this has been an absolute mess today and all week long. You said it best. On to the 11th hole, we're looking downhill, 215 yards to the green. And this is one of the holes that uh, you realize you're at Wolf Creek. You would never see this hole anywhere else in the world. It, it's amazing when you stand on this tee. You see all of the canyons around, but there is a little green area down there. With, surrounded by a couple of bunkers. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great looking par three. It measures 215 yards, very playable. And you never know, today might be the day where you make birdie. Early part of this second nine and a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, oh, it's like k kissing your mother-in-law. Just the tap in to finish the hole. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Par 5, 12th, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating. It, it can. Water down the left, uh, that'll take a huge dent off your scorecard. Uh, a lot of fairway down the right. Somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable in two. There's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier. This, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. Offline, and, and I think that one's headed for the rough. I've seen some long tee shots, but it's the advantage to tee that ball up. Get it up there quickly, get the wind behind you. It's amazing how far you can hit it. Second shot, good look at the green.
That was just a gutsy shot right there. And a good look at Eagle coming up. This is a 16-footer. So early on the backside here at the 12th hole, missed opportunity. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Good birdie right there. Yeah, this game, when you can't win, it's all about top 10s, top 20s. And currently, that's exactly where they stand. 13th hole, and Frank, Wolf Creek is really kind of a macho golf course because you can stand on a tee like this and say, you know what, I'm going to take this one over the mountains. And then, if you do, then you flip the coin. Is it in play or is it out of play? This is, uh, this is one hole. You just uh, you realize you're in the middle of the desert, that's for sure. And one hole that you think, well, if I play this hole a couple of times, I might just get the hang of it. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot! That's a head scratcher, no other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. So they'll tap in. Did the job right there. Frank, describe the layout here at the 14th hole. It's 444 yards, and what a beautiful hole. It is, and it's a beautiful view. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you got to fixate on a on a on something in the dif in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side good strike good lie good chance to attack the pin this one will play a little bit longer it's up the hill to that green back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. We'll make birdie if he holds this putt.
Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. And he makes it for par. Here at the 15th hole here at Wolf Creek, bit of a breather here. Nice, short par three. You don't want to miss this green. No, that's, that's the temptation there. If you try and bite off a little too much because it looks a little too easy, then a bogey here and you're in a bad mood all of a sudden at Wolf Creek. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Oh, that's not good. Looks like he just misread that. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Wow, that hurt. It did. Shot gone forever. So just a formality here. So that's a bogey, and now to one over par for the tournament. Now to the 16th hole as we get set for the finishing stretch. And Frank, what's the best way to play this relatively short par four? Somehow you've got to straighten the hole up in your mind's eye, Rich. Just look all the way across that canyon and look like the hole was built straight because really that's the way it uh, should be played. If you start looking left and turning it into a dog leg, then all of a sudden bad things can happen. So look straight at the green. That's your line. Just try and bisect those two fairway bunkers. He just blasted that one down the fairway out there about 325 yards. Got to be careful here, downhill, he's got to time it good because your weight's a little bit more on your front foot. Seems to like it, headed for the fat part of the green. You can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline. These putts keep the round together. Wow, I thought that was in. Workmanlike hole. He walks away with a par. Frank, you licking your chops here at the par 5, 17th hole? Oh, why not? A chance to reach a par 5 and 2, but there's still pitfalls in front of you. A little creek or stream runs across the fairway, so really limiting the distance you can hit that tee shot, but it's still reachable from just short of that uh, creek. Find trouble off the tee, then obviously you turn it into a three-shotter, but a good tee shot, and it's too tempting to resist not going for this green. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good lie. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the wind. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Given the choice, most players would rather play from the green grass versus the white sand. Yeah, there was no advantage to try and take that much more out of that fairway bunker. Couldn't reach the green. It's a smart play. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. 
Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. On the green, and a chance for birdie. And now he has this for the birdie. Frank, that looked good to me. Wow, I didn't expect that. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. He takes care of business there. Solid strike. Now the closing hold here at Wolf Creek. Frank, what's ahead of us? You could try and drive at this green, but there's too much trouble, really, Rich. Even though this hole's just over 300 yards, um, it's very ambitious to try and drive it across that water. Some might try. Most people try and hit a tee shot 240, 250 yard mark, and of course, you do the maths, you're only gonna have 60 or 70 yards in, and uh, well, they want you to finish on a good note. So good drive in the fairway here, or three wood. Pitch it on the green, make a three, and buy your friends a drink in the clubhouse. Frank, sadly, I've been there too often in the water. You get down on yourself. What's the right way to approach this mentally? Well, you've almost got to take a step backwards, Rich. Um, you, you, this can add up so, so quickly. So give yourself a little pat on the back, say it's fine. I mean, you, you're not, you, 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 you're human. You're allowed to hit bad shots. But the big thing now is to avoid two in a row. So hit the previous shot in the water, took a drop. This now the third shot. Frank, this is one you don't practice, but sometimes you have to do it. Time for the drop. Yeah, it should be the easiest shot in golf. <laughs> You've just paid for it. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. So a tester from four feet. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Frank, we did see some good golf out there today, but others really struggled. Yeah, any competitive player wants to win. Uh, we, we don't. <laughs>